Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today is Friday and it's a super busy day today. I would normally have class at 8.30. It's currently 7.20. I'm about to leave and just go to my professor's office hours to pick up my exam. I did okay on my exam. I'm not going to say my score. Um, <laughs> I'm just not super proud of it. Honestly, wish I would have done better. I spent a lot of time on it, but I clearly didn't do enough because I'm still struggling. I did well above the class average, over 10 points above the class average. So I think everyone struggled with this exam, but it still wasn't good enough for me. Normally I would have class at 8.30, except today I have a dentist appointment. So I'm not going to be going to class. I'm actually, when I go pick up my exam, I'm just going to let my professor know that I won't be in there today. I'm really, really nervous for my dentist appointment. You guys know, I think I told you before that I have like really bad anxiety about going to the dentist. So I have to get a filling and I'm just like so nervous about it. Um, I have put it off for way too long and so I'm finally going today and I'm just going to get it over with. It is what it is. Um, I know it's important. I just like hate going to the dentist and I just fear that I'm gonna freak out, but hopefully I won't. And then later at 1.30, I have a tutoring appointment to do my post-lab data analysis with Dr. Vinny and that will be uh, on the most recent lab. home now and I'm just making some oatmeal for breakfast. I'm gonna put some berries on top and eat that and then I'll have to leave soon for my dentist appointment. Some raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. Now I'm gonna eat breakfast and review my exam. So we are heading to my dentist appointment. I told you guys I was bringing Chad with me in case I need him because I have in the past the MRI, <laughs> which they know about that. Um, but that's not gonna happen today. I feel okay. I'm lying to myself. <laughs> I'm nervous about it, but I um, it's not that big of a deal. So I look absolutely terrible right now and I'm extremely numb. I cannot feel anything. I have like makeup down here and I feel horrible but my dentist appointment is over thank gosh um can't believe that I made it through I almost had a panic attack um after the injections the injections themselves were not bad it was just after the fact like I had like a reaction my whole body got like really hot and cold and tingly and I was like that for like a few minutes but I was like it made me really sleepy I don't know it was really weird and I'm just glad that I didn't completely freak out I was in there for a while I had to have two fillings actually I had more fillings than what I had originally come in there for because they were already numbing the top so they were able to do more but I am so freaking numb like literally can't feel my lips Chad is bringing me Panera bread soup that was fast oh thanks I have some soup and I also got macaroni and cheese. I have 
to eat soft foods. So hopefully the pain goes away because I have like a lot of pain. Hey guys, so it is a while later. I didn't end up going to tutoring because of the fact that my face was so freaking numb and I was in a lot of pain. I'm still having a lot of pain like in here. I'm not numb anymore. Chad and I ate lunch and took a nap and I woke up and I'm not like super numb anymore. But I put a little bit of Orogel on like where my tooth is hurting and it did absolutely nothing for me because the pain is like up here. So Chad says it's nerve pain <laughs> and uh, cause he's experienced this before after getting um, dental stuff done. So hopefully it goes away because dental pain is the worst kind of pain. Chad and I are about to go and take Trooper on a walk. I'll show you guys the new little harness that we got for him. It's really nice. We found it on Amazon. It is so cold outside right now. We're back home now and we are drinking wine. It's Friday, so originally we were gonna go to the movies tonight because we have free movie tickets that I got at work like forever ago. I won them and I don't know what I did to win them, but I got like selected, but we have still not used them. And I obviously am having the tooth pain, so we decided to just stay in. And I had soup for lunch, so I really did not want soup again for dinner, but I cannot eat anything that like requires a lot of chewing. So we decided to order Italian food in and we're getting it delivered. So I ordered um, fettuccine Alfredo and Chad ordered, what did you order? Uh, no oh, okay. Um, Noki, yeah. We're going to get the Nintendo Switch set up and play Mario Kart, and that's gonna be our night. I mean, it literally sounds amazing. I could care less about going out tonight. I don't want to, and I'm excited that we thought of something for me to eat that wasn't soup. And now we're about to look at Max because ever since I started doing YouTube and doing a bunch of editing with Final Cut Pro, and then obviously being a student using Microsoft Excel and Word and PowerPoint and multitasking and just doing all the things, blogging, it slowed my computer down a lot. So I think it's time to upgrade and I've been looking at these for a few weeks now. There's nowhere else I would rather be tonight than with the love of my life, having Italian Diego <laughs> and wine. And the best part, these garlic knots, which are amazing. Chad and I are about to play Mario Kart and he's about to get his butt whooped. Are you ready? Oh, I love a good joke. I'm not joking. Good morning, guys. It is actually the next day. I did not vlog uh, last night. Chad and I just played Mario Kart for a while, and then we finished this documentary on Netflix called The Pharmacist. It's about like opiate addiction and this guy who like loses his son. Um, it's a pretty good documentary. We love watching documentaries on Netflix. Um, but we are about to start our Saturday morning out with a good gym workout. Um, so I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing my Adidas Swift Run sneakers. These are are the Lululemon Align leggings, Lululemon Energy Bra, and then this is that workout jacket that I got from Gymshark, and it has like the little thumb cutouts. Really love this, so I'll link this whole outfit if you guys wanna check it out. It's like 50 degrees out, but we're gonna go get our workout on. Actually only 55 degrees out. I wanted to update you guys on my teeth. So I was in so much pain yesterday. I had like a whole list of things I wanted to do after my dentist appointment, and I ended up getting nothing done. I've never been in that much pain after a dental appointment. We just made it to the gym. Chad's getting his headphones ready and then it's go time. So we just finished at the gym and the gym is right next to the grocery store. I feel like I already told you guys that. So we're gonna go grocery shopping really quick and then when we get home, um, I have a bunch of other things going on, but we're gonna go and get some groceries. My arms and my shoulders are so sore. Chad and I both just had green smoothies and they were freaking amazing. I have just like been obsessed with making green smoothies lately, especially after the gym, because I just feel so good about drinking it and it fills me up. And it's currently 11.30, so we're probably not gonna eat lunch for like another hour, so it just like holds me over until lunch. But now I'm gonna start my laundry and get a shower and Chad and I are currently still trying to decide which Mac I wanna upgrade to. We're just looking at all the specs because I want to upgrade like a a few things with it. I'm gonna upgrade to the 27 inch and I wanna get one that has like higher memory and a better processor and all that stuff. And I'm not the expert in that department, he is. So 
it's kind of taking us a while to make a decision and i don't really think the apple store is going to have it in stock because i'm making all of these like spec adjustments so we're probably gonna have to order it online and wait for it to come in i have this whole basket of laundry to do i feel like it's going to take me forever i'm currently sitting here curling my hair chad and i are about to go to starbucks and go find a cute location to take a picture really quick because i have a sponsored post that i need to get ready so i figured we would just go ahead and do that today i've never actually done a tutorial showing you guys how i curl my hair but it's honestly the easiest thing in the world so i was like why don't i throw it in this vlog i use what is this the t3 in the one fourth inch barrel i feel like i have shown you guys this before now that i'm talking about it but maybe not um and then i always curl away from my face and i leave a little bit out and i just clamp it and twist it i used to use a wand for the longest time and because I did not know how to use a clamp. Um, but then once I got the T3, I started learning how to use a clamp and I prefer it so much more than the wand now because I used to burn myself with the wand all the time, first of all. And it's really convenient not having to like hold on to the hair because I like to let it sit on there for like five or 10 seconds. So it just, I don't know, it makes it so much nicer. And then I literally just like feel it. And once I feel like it's hot enough, then i slowly take it off and these are the kind of curls that it does just leave a little bit out and then just twist it up and once i'm finished i'll show you guys how i do it but i'll speed through like the rest of this I just like to spray in a texture spray this is just from Target and this is just to kind of give my um, roots a little bit of volume and then the next thing is just to run your fingers through the curls to loosen them up so that they're more like waves and this is the result it's really cute and it doesn't take very long at all Chad and I are on campus we're walking over to the library and we're just gonna hang out in there for a little bit and get some schoolwork done we wanted a bit of a change of scenery we were gonna stop at Starbucks on the way here except the Starbucks was closed so I didn't get to get any coffee and that sucks I thought there was a golf cart coming up behind us and it was a skateboarder long border long border somehow was meant to be so we thought that the Einsteins on campus was closed and then I saw someone in, walking into the library with Einsteins so whatever it says online was not accurate because they were open and I got an iced coffee with almond milk and it's amazing I have to still do test corrections um, for my exam and then like a bunch of homework or finish my laundry I literally left laundry in the dryer that I have to go fold told you guys that I was upgrading my Mac. Uh, this current one that I have now is just not suitable for video editing as well as blogging and college, which is all the things that I do. I really need something that's a little more high speed and I've had this computer for several years now, so it's really time to upgrade. And I thought I would show you guys the one that I got. It's not gonna be here until March 6th because unfortunately, I decided to get some upgrades to it to make sure that it would be able to handle video editing and everything. So I went with the 27 inch Mac, which is quite a bit bigger than my current one. This is the 21.5 inch. It's gonna have 32 gigabytes of memory as well as one terabyte of SSD storage. Wait a minute. That's so we Oh, okay. I'm like, it was not $200 when I did it, but that's because I did the education one. So I ended up getting a huge discount. I ended up getting like $200 off. I upgraded the storage and the memory, and then obviously the size, and it's going to have a better processor. 
I am very, very excited, but I have to wait two weeks for it to come in, so that's gonna suck. But when it gets here, it's gonna be amazing. I've been saving up for a long time to finally make this big purchase, and this is definitely something that I know is a huge purchase, but I think it's gonna be a purchase that's well worth it because I'm gonna be in school for a long time, obviously, once I start the PA program. That's like two years, so I really need a faster computer. My current computer always like freezes up, and it will like force close out of Final Cut Pro when I'm in the middle of editing something, and that is so frustrating. I'm just so excited to finally make this huge purchase for myself and be able to have a high-speed computer computer that can handle all of the things that I do. posted this new picture on Instagram and I wanted to show you guys how you can shop all of my outfits. If you just download the Like to Know It app and you search my name, you'll be able to find all of the pictures that I post on there and all you have to do to shop the look is just click on the picture and everything will be linked. So if you guys like my style, which I know a lot of you guys do, then you can check out all of my outfit details on Like to Know It where you can also go to the link in my description and I always have a little icon on there if you don't have the Like to Know It app where you can just click it and it says shop my looks and it'll bring you to this page without having to download the app but it's awesome because this is how I get a lot of my outfit inspiration. Um, I just go on here and I just like find people whose stuff I like and that's how I get the details. Here is our delicious dinner tonight. Some chicken, that looks really good. This is our first time making chicken breasts in the air fryer. So what do you think? It looks good. We'll see if it's cooked all the way through. Yeah, it looks really good. And then diced sweet potato baked and Brussels sprouts baked. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end this vlog here so I can edit and upload. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you have not already, make sure you give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video.